All right, so I just want to do a quick review over um, chapter 10 because it can be a little bit confusing and I just want to just highlight some of the main concepts here. So uh, in chapter 10, you're learning about the third declension. Now, one key thing to remember is that the declension is just a way of how certain nouns are formed. They kind of follow a certain pattern. So first declension follows one pattern, second declension follows another, third declension follows another. Now, in the first declension, it's usually feminine nouns, but that does not mean that all feminine nouns are in the first declension. In the second declension, it's usually masculine or neuter nouns, but that doesn't mean that all masculine and neuter nouns are in the second declension. Because as you saw in the third declension, you can have masculine, neuter, or uh, feminine uh, in the third declension. Now, how do you recognize what gender uh, the, uh, the word is? That's right, it's by the article. So if it has hey, then it's feminine, ha, it's masculine, or ta, then it's neuter. So the declension doesn't give away the uh, gender, it's by the article. So when you're memorizing your vocab, you have the lexical form and the genitive singular, and then the article. The article will tell you um, what uh, gender the, the noun is. It won't tell you what declension, but it'll tell you what gen gender it is. So that gets us to the next part. How do you determine what gender uh, the noun is? Well, that's usually indicated, well, it's indicated by the genitive singular. So if you have uh, lagas lagu, so genitive singular with the u ending, well, you're gonna have, what did you learn? It's gonna be in the second declension. Uh, if you have the ace ending, then it's gonna be in the first declension. Now, what you saw in the third declension is that you have the OS ending, so the as ending. Now remember, how do you determine what the declension is? It's by the genitive singular, it will give it away. So, now why, uh, what is another reason you need to remember the genitive singular, uh, especially for the third declension? That's right, because it gives you the stem of the noun. So. Third declension, it ends in a consonant, the stem does, and so that creates some uh, weird issues when you uh, join it together with a sigma or another consonant. So for example, in sarks, in the genitive, you have sarkas, and that sark, S-A-R-K, uh, is the stem. And so you have that kappa, and when you have the S uh, for the ending in the nominative singular, it butts up against there, and it creates the uh, C. Now remember, so kappa plus S, what sound does that make? It makes a X sound. And what letter in Greek is that? C. So that's you know how you do that. And so if you notice that if a sigma uh, for the nominative singular is coming, coming up there, then additionally, uh, in the dative plural, you have the sigma as well, the C. Uh, ending and when that comes together so in the nominative singular and the dative plural you'll have the same things going on there now a couple other uh, things that happen so in the mot ending so like the word anoma so in you have anoma anoma tas that tas indicates that it's third declension and it has this ending a mot ending and so this is very common in greek several words have this mot ending and in the nominative singular, it does not have an ending. Um, and so what, is, what does mounts say? Well, when there's a tau left at the end of the word, then it just drops off. And that's why you have anoma, anomatas. So it's not really arbitrary. It's just remembering what happens in Greek when uh, certain words, uh, certain changes happen there. Another thing uh, to remember is that if you have a new, a new, uh, yeah, a new at the end of the word, and an S comes in contact with it, it just drops out, it just disappears. So, for example, uh, tis, tenas. So the stem, as we saw, tenas, T-I-N, or tau, iota, nu. So that's the stem. But then in the nominative singular, you add an S to that, and that nu drops out. 
And so um, that's how you get T's. So just remember uh, those hints. The, when you're memorizing your vocab, it is vitally, absolutely vital that you memorize lexical form, genitive singular, and then the article, because that will tell you all the information uh, that you need that you need to know. And so also remember that the gender is revealed by the article. So gender is revealed by the article. Uh, I think that that's kind of all I wanted to cover today. Um, but I just want to give you some encouragement. Uh, you guys are doing good. Um, and keep up the hard work. And hopefully this review just kind of helps solidify maybe some lingering questions. If you have any other questions, please let me know.